I thought I'd do a quick video on stack basics because it's a little bit different in this calculator than it is in the previous scientific calculators. Um, this is a precursor to the graphing calculators, so those who are familiar with the graphing calculators are probably familiar with the concept of an unlimited stack. For all intents and purposes, this stack is not just the four levels of the earlier scientific calculators, but just continues to grow and grow. So for example, let's just start with 9 and 8. Seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Okay, so we have all of those in the stack now. Now if I hit this backspace button, nothing happens. It does not delete the first item in the stack. If I want to get rid of that, then I drop it, and that drops everything in the stack. So now we've got two, three, four, five. Drop it again, three, four, five, six. You get the idea. Now I can swap values in the stack, just like prior. Now another nice feature of this unlimited stack is if you do an operation, if you have the mode enabled, you can undo the, to the prior state of that stack. So again, if I do a multiplication and I come up with that number, and then I go, oh, well, I want my stack back that I had prior, I can do undo and I've got all of it back. 